Hi, I'm Mike from Dream Home Design Ideas. And I'm Emily. Welcome to Nest, our new podcast. Here we talk about all things home design, and today we're going to talk about the color blue. So Mike, blue has been trending in 2024. Benjamin Moore selected Blue Nova, I love that name, as their color of the year. It's a captivating mid-tone color that blends blue and violet for a rich, sophisticated look. It's not quite a navy or royal blue, but has more depth and intrigue than a typical light blue. This balance makes it both bold and inviting, allowing it to be a statement piece or a surprisingly versatile accent color. Think of it as a luxurious modern take on classic blue with a hint of the cosmos. This would work great for statement walls and accent walls. It would also add a moody but vibrant look to your kitchen if it's on kitchen cabinets. If you couple this with a neutral color like a soft white, it would really accentuate the blue and create a calming, balanced look. If you go with earthy tones like tans and beiges, that would add warmth and complement the cool blue. Blue Nova? Yeah, that's a really sci-fi sounding name. Then you have Sherwin-Williams selecting their color named Upwards as their color of the year for 2024. They describe Upwards as a breezy, blissful blue. I would call it a light, airy blue with a hint of gray undertone, creating a calming and tranquil atmosphere. Like Blue Nova, it pairs beautifully with other neutrals like whites, grays, and even soft tans for a cohesive look. It shifts slightly depending on the lighting. Sometimes it appears more blue, and at other times it showcases the gray undertones more. It works great for bedrooms and bathrooms because Upward's tranquil nature makes it perfect for creating a restful retreat. It promotes relaxation and can help improve sleep quality. It fosters an almost spa-like atmosphere in bathrooms, encouraging feelings of peace and rejuvenation. Another place this would be great for is the home office. Upward can promote focus and concentration in home offices while still maintaining a light and airy feel that combats feelings of claustrophobia. Upward can also be used on ceilings, especially in rooms with high ceilings, to create a sense of intimacy and draw the eye upwards. Ooh, I love how cool and calming Upwards is. A lot of paint companies chose blue this year. Valspar's 2024 Color of the Year is called Renew Blue. It is a calming and balanced blue with a touch of grade C green. It is a very cool tone blue with subtle green and gray undertones, creating a natural and serene feel. It feels restful, soothing, and promotes a sense of well-being. Valspar says the color was inspired by nature's calming elements, like tranquil waters and calming skies. It can appear more blue or green depending on the lighting. I love how I can have different moods in the same room. Like upwards, this would be a great pick for bathrooms and bedrooms because of its calming nature. I would also recommend this for living rooms. Renew Blue would set a serene foundation for a room perfect for unwinding after a long and tiring day. The subtle green hints can also add a touch of nature-inspired energy. Here's something you may not have thought of. Hallways or entryways. As a first impression of your home, Renew Blue would set a welcoming and serene tone. Consider pairing it with white trim for a crisp and airy look. If you want more of a pop with this color, you can pair it with a crisp white like Valspar's Ultra White. It will make for a brighter and more modern feel. Add in small touches of black, like hardware or lighting fixtures, for a touch of sophistication and drama. Well, Emily, the blues don't end there. Minwax, the company that makes wood stain selected Bay Blue, as their color for 2024. I would compare it to Renew Blue in that it tries to bridge the gap between blue and green. I would call it a contemporary teal shade. For me, it evokes feelings of nature like calming waters or lush greenery. Bay Blue is a great accent color. It works brilliantly for interior doors and exposed beams or ceilings. If you choose it for trim work, you need to be careful though. While it can work for trim work, it's a bolder choice. Consider the overall size and tone of the room. In smaller spaces or with a lot of trim, it might be overwhelming. I'm also thinking headboard. A headboard stained in bay blue can add a touch of personality and tranquility to your bedroom. Don't limit yourself to large pieces. Think about using bay blue on picture frames, small tables, or decorative boxes for a unique touch. Here's a tip for you. When choosing wood for staining with bay blue, consider the natural wood grain. 
Lighter colored woods will allow the blue-green tones to shine through more vibrantly, while darker woods might create a more muted effect. It's always best to test the stain on a small, inconspicuous area first to see how it looks on your specific wood. Mike, do you use Krylon spray paint? I've used it on some stuff in my house and love them. They chose a blue as their color for 2024 as well. It's called Bluebird, and it's been generating excitement in the DIY world. Bluebird is a very cheerful and uplifting shade of blue. It's a bright and bold blue. It's not a pale pastel, but not an overpowering navy either. Think of it as a refreshing and contemporary take on classic blue. It's a very dopamine decor color, but I think it offers a pop of color without being overwhelming. If you want to breathe new life into your tired furniture, Bluebird would do exactly that. Krylon also makes a version of Bluebird that's suitable for outdoor use. This makes it a great choice for refreshing patio furniture, planters, or outdoor decorative elements. When choosing items to paint with Bluebird, consider the overall style of your space and how the color will complement your existing decor. For a more cohesive look, pair Bluebird with neutral colors like white, beige, or gray. You can also add pops of other bright colors for a more playful vibe. Well, this seems like a very coordinated effort from the paint companies to get blue trending. It has undoubtedly given blue a significant push in the design world. With the lingering effects of the pandemic and our increasingly digital lives, there's a growing desire for home interiors to provide a sense of escape and relaxation. Blue tones can contribute to this by creating a calming and restorative environment. Also, dopamine decor has been around for a while now, emphasizes using color to boost mood, and Blue's association with positive emotions aligns with this trend. Blue has never truly gone out of style though, Mike. It's an interior design classic and has a history of use in various cultures and design movements. Blue is very versatile. It offers a vast spectrum, from calming light blues and airy sky tones to rich navy and dramatic teals. This allows for a variety of design styles, from modern and minimalist to coastal and traditional. A shade of blue can be found to suit almost any taste. It's also generally associated with positive emotions like peace, trust, and security. Think of all the banks that use blue in their logos and branding. When it comes to home interiors, blue promotes feelings of relaxation and well-being, a quality especially sought after these days. Overall, I would say blue's reign as a top interior design color this year is a result of its versatility, natural connection, timeless quality, psychological benefits, industry influence, and alignment with current design trends focused on mental well-being and colorful positivity. Well, those were our thoughts on the color blue. I gotta say, Mike, I was a bit nervous about recording this first podcast episode. It is what it is, Emily. We hope you found this episode useful. If you got feedback, we need to hear it please leave us a comment below and tell us what you liked and what you disliked. And of course, tell us what you'd like to hear in future episodes. Here's Mike and Emily signing out. Have a good day, everyone.